Hello everybody, uh, this is the third mission on um, Spin Cell Blacklist. Um, we decided to go a little bit more gung-ho because uh, uh, it was taking some time. Now this, uh, you might have heard me saying about landmines being a pain in the ass. Well, we, we, we restarted this about six or seven times because of the fucking landmines. Every time I turned around a corner I stepped on one. Um, but we found this route, as long as you take the sniper out at the top first. Um, there is another bloke comes out at the bottom there, but um, if you take the sniper out quick with sleeping gas or something, um, you can sneak through on the right. Now, again, it's very, very dark. Um, so I, I hope you can see, but there's some lasers in front of us, and we tried the old sneak through the laser trick, um, but in typical Resident Evil fashion. Well, it didn't cut Andrew into small bits, but um, yeah, we failed. So um, Andrew's gone off in a different direction. Again, I don't know which way he's going because I haven't been out there. Um, but we do meet back up, so you can do it all going the way I'm going now. So sneak through, shoot the laser box, so uh, you turn them off. So it's all that hassle of sneaking around. Um, yeah, and up the stairs. Now, there's a couple of fellas up here, um, and there's a cut in the video, which I apologise for, but I paused it, because uh, I had to go and get a beer. So, yeah, I gassed this fellow when I really should have just taken him down, but either that or I shot him and he farted, one of the two. Um, this is where we pause it, so as I say, excuse the cut. There's a couple of cameras and we failed one of the objectives um, because one of the guards noticed one of the cameras is down. Again, you don't have to shoot the cameras, but like I say, we, we were getting a bit gung-ho here. Um, so I was alright with the first one, the second one, there's a guard just up there. Who I hadn't noticed, um, and he raised the alarm. So, I think they destroyed the blacklist or whatever is in each um, map. So sneaky, sneaky. Give that bloke a little um, little kiss. And then off for the laptop. Yeah, again you see the lasers are, like I say, generally in the room somewhere there will be a box, if not you can lead back to it. Um, I think if you use thermal goggles, which I've got I've got the standard goggles, but I believe there are thermal goggles as well. Um, slightly different where you can um, trace wires back. So, yeah, back along the bottom, I'm going up to get the fella who saw the camera when I shot it. For some reason he's just still stood there like a plank. And again, um, me and Andrew are having quite a lot of fun at this point. Um, I can hear him as I'm playing it. I can hear him um, dropping guards left, right and centre. So this approach definitely worked. I just want to apologise the amount of time this video has taken me to put up as well. Because I record in 1080p and I upload in 1080p, even with you know a super duper internet connection it takes a while so um, I'll try and get as many up as I can over the next few days of course back to work Tuesday so it's gonna slow down a bit um, and I had a little look at this window um, I just wanted to see if I could get up on the roof but um, I don't believe you can you can drop back down I think um, but I spotted them two fellas out there and there's the fellow we have to capture on this level and he's a heavy so uh, as I said in the previous video it's um, just a case of getting behind him. So I sped this bit up because I was massively stuck for a good few minutes while I was trying to work out where to go. And there you go, it's me and Angie meeting back up again. Eventually, when I work out how to get there. It is nice the way you can see your, your teammate. Now I don't know if you can on Perfectionist because this is only on normal. Um, but the, the the guy we have to capture has actually come in this building. Now, I nearly messed this up because I ran in there not thinking. Of course, all the lights are on. Um, luckily, they didn't spot me. So, <laughs> we were laughing hysterically at this point. Because Andrew calls this guy over, you know, the old... And um, takes him down. And I'm saying to him, should I shoot the light? He said, no, no, leave it, don't shoot the light. So he takes out the guy we have to capture. 
Now this other fella gets a little bit suspicious, he's already marked, so I gas him. Target neutralized. Sam, I've got an ID on the guy you just wrapped up. And Andrew is screaming at me at this point. Make some noise, do something, do something, because uh, obviously there's a dead body, well there's not a dead body, there's an unconscious body where he stood. And he said, he said I'm kind of standing on top of it to try and block sight. Um, so yeah, uh, obviously I do the, the sensible thing and run up there and take the fella down myself. That's look, look how close it was to him. He was right on top of him. So yeah, nice job. Um, really, all there was left to do on this level was charge through and get the uh, the two outstanding objectives we haven't got yet. Um, so I'd already picked the laptop up. Already done C. A was a bit of a bitch because we had to climb up some ladders and no, sorry B was the bitch because we had to try and get up to it again Andrew found the way I must say how pretty this game is as well is, um, this is running on a 360 just for the sake that I can play with my friends on the 360 because alas we don't all, all have PCs and um, it's a shame because I would rather be playing this type of thing on a PC and especially because I use Nvidia cards as well and I know they've had a big input into this um, so dual boost um, you'll see a lot more dual boost later on when we do a boat level um, they've also got split boosts on there where it does purposely split you and your partner up um, yes we had lots of fun with the boat level trying to work out what to do and apparently there's a secret room we can't get in it. Um, I'm sure there's a video on YouTube somewhere. If not, I'll put one up as soon as I'm working out how to do it. But um, that's probably the next video that we're going to put up. So um, A and C are done. I'm just going to hack B. And then I think I'll fast forward it to the end. But again, at the end, you know, we, yeah, we've done it. We're screaming out. And I ran straight out into the courtyard with all them landmines. And, uh, yep, yeah, Andrew was <laughs> screaming at me. Luckily I stopped in time, otherwise of course, like I say, you fail and you have to do the whole mission again. There's no checkpoints on these earlier missions. There are on some of the later ones, but none on these. So yeah, we'll just whiz through to the end. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you soon.